I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, like second gens and, you know, manual transmissions and leather interior, like if you're into that kind of thing, I guess you would think this is kind of cool. Anyways, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Let me close this window. Welcome back to another video here, guys. We just picked up another second gen here, but this is a configuration that, you know, we've had extended cab second gens before, but an extended cab short bed 24 valve with a five speed manual, I've never owned, ever, I've never owned a manual transmission 24 valve. And I've never driven one of these before. So, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. It's essentially like the 12 valve, but the stock 24 valve with a five speed, obviously has more power than a stock 12 valve with a five speed. So it, it feels a little bit different, but for the most part, I mean, it, it is just still that same five speed feeling. Like it's just a blast to drive smooth through the gears oh man truck runs truck runs beautifully beautiful truck and it's got a couple little boobas that we're gonna have to fix just a couple of you know just a couple of small things no no like mechanical issues nothing like that truck runs beautifully but it does have a couple of small things that you know need addressed like it's missing a rear bumper and uh it's uh it's needing a new set of wheels and tires on this thing very badly the stocks are you know the stocks are cool but they're not going to do it for me and i already have in my mind exactly how i want to configure this truck over the next week when we put it together and it's going to be pretty neat it's going to be pretty cool uh, that's always the goal you know every, every truck has a little bit a little bit of a different feel to it and this one's not going to be like the last few that we've done it's going to be a little different but it's still going to be like simple aesthetically pleasing and functional it's gonna be very functional it's not gonna be over the top ridiculous but it's gonna look good feel good drive good and it's just going to it's gonna hit the sweet spot for a lot of people in terms of what they're wanting out of a daily drivable truck you know like this so anyways guys let's get on the road here a little further once we get down to the house I'm going to give you guys a look over this thing let me let you guys check it out we need to get this in the wash it's covered in dirt and I've been driving it for the last hour and it poured rain all night so all the roads are flicking road debris all over the truck so we got to get it back here wash the thing down get it looking good and then we'll show you guys around the truck and uh it's pretty slick oh yeah that is what i'm talking about right there we got a five speed manual let me get this thing back though so you can actually see what we're looking at here Oh man, this thing is beautiful. Let's check it out. Always talk, but I couldn't seem to listen. I lived in a fantasy land, they called it fiction. But I was gonna be big one day, playing shows on the road to a sold out stage. Nobody really cared or believed I would make it anywhere close, I would fail in fate. But that's cool, I love that. Cause any little doubt gives me energy back. And now I'm in a place where I'm glad I never gave up on the dreams I had. Big dreams lead to big things And big swings lead to big rings Championships or the big screen Anyone who did anything took a big swing and Big dreams lead to big things And big swings lead to big rings Championships or the big screen Anyone who did anything took a big swing If you're wondering what that little rattle sound is I will show you just where the exhaust kind of touches the fender just a little bit there but here it is guys 2001 dodge ram 2500 with the 24 valve cummins turbo diesel thing is freaking clean super nice truck do you have a couple of tools in here because i had to replace like the uh tailgate cables because they were both broke so i replaced those the first day i got it home i did get it a couple days ago um leather interior it's got a little boo-boo right there starting to tear right there just a little tear there starting get a little your typical little elbow crease on the center console 
passenger seat is almost perfect other than a little bit of wear looking there and then the back seat um super clean super clean super clean um it is a five-speed manual four-wheel drive 24 valve cummins full blacked interior seats panels um you know the door panel leather or vinyl the dash it does have a couple little hairline cracks in it so we do have a new one of those coming in and then in terms of the headliner it's just got a couple little it's got a couple little sag spots there from over the years which guys you got to give a little bit of slack it's 20 how many years old 21 years old 22 years old probably since it's been on the road um back doors though flawlessly open and close all the power options on the thing work windows and locks and crews and everything excel decel um it does have a little tiny ding and the fenders get a little teeny tiny ding there about the size of my thumb actually it's a little ding there but other than that she's clean she's pretty it's hard to find them again i know i've said this before and for the guys that happen to have a super cherry mint one that's never seen a day of work in its life you're probably saying i got one cleaner than that somewhere or i've seen them before i know they're out there but it is so 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 hard to find them in this good a shape i mean the body has no rust on it the truck has no rust you can see all the rockers i'll show you under the doors for all you guys that are second gen geeks you like to see how clean the doors are i mean zero rust even the back door let me show you here zero zero rust all up in there no grime no rust everything's clean even the little bracket is clean it's not rotted out on this truck original pinch welds you can see all those super super nice um just a clean old truck then you can see the back side of the rockers the cab mounts oh sorry to show you some of that stuff because i'm trying not to get my knees in all the mud it's been raining for days here here's that five speed four-wheel drive super nice the steering was actually it's got a little bit of wear but it's not all ripped up like a lot of them are ripped up door panels are in really good shape they're not all tore up bed's in pretty good shape it's got a couple little you know truck bed so i mean people use it so it's got a couple little like chips and stuff on the top of the bed rail on each side tailgate's got a couple little dings on it when they're old and original condition it's it's hard to find them a whole lot better than this especially where i'm at up here in ohio so take it all in 24 valve cummins 01 five speed never i've never had a five speed manual 24 valve this is the first one i've ever owned never had one before this what's your guys opinion when it comes to the five speed trucks second gens which one takes the win is it the 12 valve with a five speed or is it the 24 valve with a five speed in terms of overall the truck is the same but the shifting and driving to the gears with the five speed and the 24 valve i can honestly say in this truck i almost like it more than some of the five speed 12 valves i've driven i don't know if it's just because it has more power than a stock 12 valve um, i'm guessing that's what i'm noticing that i like most about it is it's got almost twice as much power for a stock truck going through those gears stock to stock comparison between a five speed 12 valve and a 24 valve but i love the way this thing drives give you a little bit of insight on what our plans are for this thing so what truck does this remind you of you're gonna leave the comments down in the comment section below you're gonna say your grandfather's truck looks just like it it literally is the exact same configuration other than the fact that this is a manual a diesel and leather interior everything else about it is literally the exact same configuration of truck it literally came on these same mirrors just it had the side moldings everything was the same same bumper setup um same literally like identical truck it's even got the little rain guards which is what my grandpa's had on it when i first got it for him um everything is almost identical to the way that truck was when we found it and when we got it so i've got some build things up my sleeve for this thing that i think are going to be pretty freaking slick and every part for this truck is already on order i'm going to get in this thing again i'm going to start it up Let you guys here at idle thing starts awesome when it's cold it sat for two days in the barn just came out turned the key and started up like a flawless 24 valve should start up and if you're wondering how this truck is so clean and i live in the state of ohio i know there's going to be guys that are like oh i've seen a cleaner one obviously there can be cleaner ones out there you can find them but 
for where I live now, and even where I used to live, this is a super hard thing to find, is a truck that's not all rusted out and ragged out. This thing's had nothing done to it other than a brand new VP44 and a new clutch put in it. Other than that, it's like, it's, it's bone stock, unmolested, just a clean old truck. Again, I'll show you the doors and the rockers on this side for all you second gen geeks. If you're like me, you like to see these types of things, like not rotted out, no rot, no rust, all the original pinch welds, clean doors. anything like me you love the way that this truck looks underneath i'm telling you guys it is ah oh, it's clean look how clean the doors are and everything sometimes less is just so much more like when you can find one of these that's all tricked out and it's done really really well it's awesome but when you find one of these that's never been touched sometimes that's even better i mean it just sometimes that's just such a better find We have so much coming for this truck. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. And yes, we're gonna be replacing the tail lights. We got all that stuff brand new coming. Third brake light, I mean, all the, everything. All the lighting's gonna be gone. It's not gonna be on freaking air ride. It's not gonna have specialty forged wheels on it. It's not gonna be your typical pretty boyed out truck, but it's gonna be very functional, very usable, and it's gonna look super clean, and it's gonna be Again, I love practicality when it comes to these things. I love them to look good, but be practical and functional. This truck's gonna have all that. But let me know down in the comment section below, because I'm very curious. If this was your truck, how would you like to see it? Does what I described sound like a good plan? Or would you have something completely different in store for this thing if it were in your possession and you had to pick out every everything you would do to this truck? How would you configure the thing? And don't forget that right now you can use our app LNP gear that app there's gonna be download links on the website um, if you have the app cool you can use the code that we're offering right now which is app 8,000 entries and it's gonna give you 8,000 entries for anything you order on the app doesn't matter what it is uh, it's a short promo we're running it only goes until de December 11th which I think is this Sunday night and then that promo is gonna be gone and if you have not yet used our app this is your opportunity to download the app and use it today and get a bizarre amount of entries for literally, you can buy a sticker. I mean, obviously the more expensive things are that you buy, it's gonna get you even more entries on top of the 8,000, but you can literally buy the smallest thing on the site and you're gonna get 8,000 entries, or you can buy the most expensive and you're gonna get 8,000 entries plus whatever else that product is gonna get you. Uh, so anyways, guys, definitely take advantage of that deal if you want because that promo is going to end on this Sunday. And when you use that promo code that I was just talking about with the app, you're getting entered to win this beautiful 1997 five-speed manual, 12 off Cummins dually, plus $5,000 in cold hard cash. So if you wanna get entered to win that thing, Right now, this is literally like such a clean configuration. Again, I love it when the trucks are done up crazy and they're done right and they're done perfect, but sometimes it's just nice to find these trucks to have like OEM headlights that are crystal clear with LEDs and you got just a simple but tasteful wheel and tire set up on the truck. You know, you got brand new, super clean and clear OEM style cab lights. I mean, sometimes less is just more on these things and this truck is a perfect example of that. I mean, this truck's not overdone but it's so tastefully put together. It just looks awesome. Maybe I'm just very biased, but I mean, the thing just looks absolutely incredible. Gotta say, this is definitely gonna be one that I wish, I wish I could keep it parked in this barn and just never drive it. And that would be awesome. But uh, it's gotta go to somebody because realistically, I cannot keep all these trucks and just park them in my barn. So I'm trying to enjoy them while I have them, but then send them off to a new home. And that home that it's going to could be yours. If you place an order, you enter to win this thing. Anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching this video, checking it out. If you guys haven't done so yet, remember you can enter to win this truck right now. 
Every $1 is gonna get you an entry to win plus the bonus code for the app users right now. You can download it if you're not an app user and use that code. Take advantage of it while you can. I'll catch you guys in the next video when we are going to be absolutely going crazy on this truck and we're gonna be doing literally like, I think most everything to the truck in one video. And uh, I used to space out the videos. I used to do like, you know, we're gonna do a bumper today. We're gonna do a headlight today. We're gonna do tail lights today. I don't wanna do that to you guys again. Um, so with this truck, we're going to just do like literally tons of stuff in like one video. We're gonna do like two or three days of just hammering everything out and you're gonna see it from the way it looks now to pretty much the finished product other than maybe one or two things in the next video. So stay tuned for that, hit that notification bell, get those notifications ready because when this video goes up next, you are not gonna wanna miss it. Thanks so much guys, I'll catch you in the next video, peace.